In this problem, we're given a function here, and we are asked to fill in the given chart below, state the degree and leading coefficient of the function, and then finally sketch the graph of the polynomial. So looking at our function, this is a nice function. It is already factored. So I can list my factors in my chart. So I have 3x squared. I have x minus 4. And I have x plus 4. Now we need to find the x-intercepts. And we find the x-intercepts of any function by setting the function equal to 0. So I'm going to have 0 equals 3x squared times x minus 4 times x plus 4. And if I have three things multiplied together equaling 0, we solve that by setting each of them equal to 0. So I get 3x squared equals 0. Divide both sides by 3. I get x squared equals 0 divided by 3, which is 0. So x equals plus or minus the square root of 0, which is just 0. So the x-intercept that goes with 3x squared happens when x equals 0. The multiplicity comes from the exponent on that factor. So the multiplicity of this one is 2. Now let's go to the next factor of x minus 4. We set it equal to 0. Solve it by adding 4 to both sides, so I get x equals 4. So that's my next x-intercept. And what exponent here is on this factor? There's nothing there. We're too efficient to write it. It means there's a 1. Last factor, x plus 4 equals 0. Solve that, subtract 4 from both sides, I get x equals negative 4. So that's my last x-intercept. And what's the exponent that we're too efficient to write up there? It's a 1. So now I've found all the multiplicities. If you add up the multiplicities, that equals the degree of the polynomial. So what is our degree? 2 plus 1 plus 1 is 4. So my degree is 4, and now we have to look at the behavior at each of these intercepts. So remember, if the multiplicity of an x-intercept is even, the graph is going to bounce and turn around. So I'm just going to write bounce. That means it doesn't cross the x-axis. But if the multiplicity is odd, the graph will cross the x-axis at that intercept. So the first one is going to bounce, these two it's going to cross. And the last thing I want to fill out before I go to the next slide is what's my leading coefficient. It is the number that is in front of all the factors, so it is a 3. So now let's go to the next slide. I put all the details from my chart down here. It looks slightly neater than the other page. I've also got my degree and leading coefficient. But before I can graph, I need to figure out the end behavior of my graph. That comes from the degree and the leading coefficient. If the degree is even, both ends of the graph point in the same direction. And if the leading coefficient is positive, both ends will point up. So that means my end behavior of the graph is going to look like this, both ends pointing up. So now I'm ready to graph. First thing I want to do is plot my x-intercepts. The first one is when x equals 0. The next one is when x equals 4. And the next one was x equals negative 4. So now I'm going to put my end behavior on. I know the graph is going to point up in this direction and in this direction. So I know my graph is going to come down here. And what's it going to do at negative 4? When x equals negative 4, it's going to cross. 
So I'm going to try and graph something that crosses. Now, at the next x-intercept of 0, what does it do? It's going to bounce. So it has to go up and bounce, but don't cross at x equals 0. How far does the graph go down here? I have no idea. That's what we need calculus for. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sketch it coming down, going up, bouncing, and turning around. And then finally, what happens when x equals 4? It's going to cross again. And that looks good because if it goes down and crosses, then it will keep going and it will meet my other end behavior. So I just sketch that in. And there is the sketch of my graph. Notice it is a sketch. We don't know how far this goes down here. If you graphed it coming down here, going all the way down there, going up, bounce, going down like that, that will be equally correct. All we're looking for is the shape of the graph.